also the Rotary Club for its cooperation okay. in moving all the cars that were parked here so that we could put the staff in. Yeah. That's very kind of them. Uh, thank you one and all. Uh, but the president of our club is here today. He was uh, able to get the day off, which we didn't think was going to happen. So I'll invite him right now to say a few words. I just want to welcome you all to this uh, great unveiling. Uh, this is a, a, just a fantastic addition to the uptown area, and uh, certainly want to thank the city of White Rock for making this happen. Uh, this is a project that uh, the previous president, Dave Barron, had uh, initiated a few years back, uh, and uh, the uh, he commissioned or had, I guess, a, a contest. And uh, Elizabeth's project or proposal was well. You can see the results for yourself. Uh, and, uh, but it sort of lay fallow for a while. And having the city of White Rock uh, step up and uh, make this all happen is just an amazing thing. I want to thank Pat for, for helping Elizabeth uh, through the long days, probably well hydrated. And uh, I just want to thank you all for coming out and uh, celebrating our history with White Rock. Thank you. Now I'll invite Elizabeth join us and tell a little bit about her uh, impressions of the why she did it this way and whatnot. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you everybody for coming today. It's wonderful to see you. Thank you. Especially my three tall, beautiful daughters. I see at the back there. One, two, three daughters. Thanks for coming. So, do you like it? Yes! Yeah. Can you see Shakespeare? Yeah. Can you see Romeo and Juliet? Yeah. Can you see a man dressed as a woman? Yeah. Two of them! And can you see her pirate love interest? Yeah. Okay, together in the winter pantomime, they sing the wonderful year of love each year and they change the words according to the history of White Rock and the history of the world, what's happened during the year. It's a different dress game, different love interest, different song, same music. It's wonderful. That was the creative spark that set me off on this. Can you see the young couple to the right? No? Yeah. To the left of Romeo. She's in a pink dress. He's got purple and white sleeves and a sort of soft green vest. Yeah? yeah. That's two young women dressed as a couple. They're the romantic thing in the pantomime and they always end up either married Something nice always happens to them. And the last thing in the pantomime is the giraffe sh shenanigans. Yeah. Can you see him? Yeah. Everybody loves him in the pantomime. Can you see the older gentleman with a hat on and a magenta hat band? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. That is Franklin Johnson. He began the Players Club in 1950. 48. Ooh. 48. <laughs> 43. I chose the characters, 43. the rest of the characters, because of their apparent connections 43. to love. That's right. Most of them are a couple. Yeah, we had that reunion. Or, if you can see the man with the green army hat and the fingers in his ears, hate. He hates the very sound of love. Turn it off, turn it off. I don't want to hear it. I have, a, I have had a wonderfully happy three months on this scaffolding. It's been great. People have come to visit me. I've had lunch over there. On July the 1st, spontaneously at 9 o'clock in the morning, I phoned local friends 
Hi, how would you like to come up on top of the scaffold and sing O Canada with me? Out they came in red and white, climbed up to the top, up there with Shakespeare, climbed up to the top, and we sang O Canada waving an enormous Canadian flag so loud they could hear it on the beach. <laughs> Thanks to all those. Another time we climbed to the very top and the snowbirds came by. Oh. Right over the top of the theatre, so loud. That was wonderful too. Linda Pierce over there, she brought me frappes. Cold coffee with ice in it. Delicious. Dave Chesney, wherever he is, he brought me really strong encouragement for public art in White Rock. Appreciated it, David. Now we have a few of these. I don't know if you can here, but if uh, somebody oh. would come and take one if they're not. First of all, I want to thank Dave Barron when he was president of White Rock's Players Club together with his committee, they put out a call for a design 30 feet by 50 feet. I couldn't believe it. I really, really wanted this wall so bad. <laughs> so, Dave, are you here? This is a copy of the original drawing. Tom Saunders! Tom? These are uh, vicious looking weapons. Well, what a great occasion and what a great turnout. It's uh, truly a tribute, I think, to the artist and to the, uh, to the structure itself. You know, just to put things in a little bit of context, uh, it was Councillor Louise Hutchinson, who was chair of the uh, Public Art Task Force, who brought this project forward to Council. We, uh, we considered it, thought that this was a worthwhile thing to do, or the right thing to do, and, and approved the money for it. So. That was one step, but even before that, we got the White Rock Players Club. And the White Rock Players Club, I think we should acknowledge what they have accomplished. They've been here for 70 years. They've been doing the pantomime for just about, this is the 59th and I guess the 60th year, coming up this year, this, uh, this Christmas. And they are probably, I think they're unique in Canada because they're probably the only group uh, in all of Canada that actually functions with its own building and doesn't rely on government grants. That is something really special. And it's a tribute to the community as well. So that brings us to the art that we have today. And uh, Elizabeth was chosen for this. And uh, of course we've seen her art throughout the city, but nothing on a scale like this. This cannot be easy. There is no way that you can just take a small picture and translate it into a great form like that and, and do it in a few minutes. So she worked at it for months, as we all know. This is something that, uh, that takes a lot of perseverance, a lot of skill, and I think probably a lot of bravery. She was up pretty high on that scaffolding <laughs> at times, eating Kentucky Fried Chicken. I didn't know that. I thought she was painting, but whatever. So it, it, it works, and it's truly a tribute to the, to the whole notion of the pantomime. Uh, the fact it captures the essence of the pantomime, it captures the fun of it, the, uh, the silliness of it, and, and all the good things that, that there are about the pantomime and the White Rock Players Club. So I'm so happy that, uh, that we've got this piece of public art for everyone to enjoy, and it's so great that it was Elizabeth who did it. So thank you very much everyone for coming out 
and I guess I get to cut the ribbon. And, and you know, I kind of believe in things. Did you notice the timing of when that thing fell over? Just when she said Franklin. And as soon as that happened, it fell over. There's got to be a sign there. So he's still watching over us. Oh, yeah. So thank you very much for coming out. And uh, with the help of the dame. <laughs> <laughs> that should be okay. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, love. What's that? Let's do it together. Oh, okay. Do you want me to hold? There you go. Nicely done. Nice and easy, love. <laughs> Uh, please join us for some tea and coffee inside the air-conditioned lobby. Thank you. <laughs>